Hello everyone, welcome back. And in this video, I want to show you how to create this uh, thing here in the top called the uh, grill mesh. So, first of all, let's uh, let's remove let's remove this one here. Night. Okay. So, I'm gonna leave this one, and in this tutorial, we are gonna make the top part this one. So the first thing we need is uh, this half a sphere. It depends on uh, what shape you want. So probably you, you, the microphone that you are modeling is a little bit different. So, and the second thing is we need UVs. It said UVs, so press U, unwrap, and we have a nice UV map for our object. And I'm only using one UV map. Let's go back here in the modeling. All right, so we have this ready. And now I'm going to use the UV maps that I created to flatten this uh, object. To do so, we have uh, to download this add-on. It's free, it's on GitHub. The link in is in the description. It's an awesome add-on. So I want to keep this activated. So use activated uh, map and click create uv shape and now we have this uh, value we can change let's uh, set it to one you can see how our object is uh, turning uh, it's basically becomes flat exactly how uh, our uvs look like okay uh however another thing i want to i don't want it to be here on this side so i want to Move this a little bit here. Easy to work uh, when adding the, the mesh that we're going to create. I mean the grill mesh. So let's go to edit mode. Here in the um, object data properties, I want to click this shape key and grab this here. And now we can go back to object mode. And that is perfect. So we are done with this. Now we want to, <clears throat> excuse me, now we want to model this grill and I'm going to use a very simple um, method. All right, so shift A, let's add a plane. It's a simple plane here. Alt Q, actually that's uh, my shortcut. So if you want to isolate, just go here, local. And I'm setting it to Alt Q. Can toggle. Basically, it's easier to work uh, like this when you only have the object that you want to work on. So go, let's go to edit mode and subdivide this twice. So right click S, right click S, and I want to select this edge. Shift D to duplicate, right click to move it back the original position. I want to remove this, so double A to deselect everything and click the L key and simply delete the faces. Now we'll, we are left with this. Now I want to go to this view and I want to create like an S shape. To do that, I'm going to move this vertex up about uh, 0 0.2 and this one move it down minus 0 0.2 and that is enough in this case. Now I'm going to select everything and go to 3D cursor as the pivot and make sure you are selecting everything. And also make sure the cursor is in the center by pressing Shift C. And let's duplicate this. Shift D, R to rotate, and Z. Z axis and then press 90 degrees. Shift R to repeat once, twice. Now we have these four ready. All right, now we can add the modifiers. The first one is the array modifier and the value of 22 worked for me the count of course the value of the count and obviously merge so uh, don't get any issues and let's duplicate this by pressing shift d now we want to set this to the y-axis only that is perfect i'm just going to scale it down a little bit Control a apply scale all right now it's time to uh Give this uh, 
some geometry. So let's minimize this by pressing A. And uh, there's a there are different methods, of course. Uh, I used to use the skin modifier. So in edit mode, you can uh, select everything, Control A, and scale this. Mark as root, and apply subdivision surface modifier, shade smooth, and kind of looks good. However, I want to use geometry nodes instead because it's uh, I think uh, it's uh, it's going to look a lot better and uh, you have more control for the resolution uh, thickness. So here in the geometry nodes, you can uh, find it here. But I already have it. Good. I'm just gonna isolate this and uh, add a new geometry node. Uh, my fire. We could also add it from here. And uh, anyways, let's add it here. And this automatically adds a geometry node. Uh, let's rename it to um, grill uh, underscore mesh. Let's hope uh, I spelled it right, hopefully. All right, let's focus here. I'm just gonna zoom in so you can see better. First thing I wanna do is skin modifier. We don't need that. So we only have this geometry node. First thing I wanna do is uh, add subdivision surface. Division surface, light here. And level three. This creates very smooth surface. Perfect. Now, want to want to convert this to a vector. Uh, not vector. Want to convert this to a curve. Curve. Let's say mesh to curve. Brilliant. And now I want to I want to have. Um, I'm gonna give it like a resample. Right. Resample curve. Oh, it's with the E. Anyways, resample curve, and now we have control how uh, over the resolution, how many uh, vertices we have. This is brilliant. Now we need to convert it back to a mesh. So, today, search for curve to mesh. And now it's a uh, mesh again. Uh, but we need. Uh, it's a like tube, so we need a circle for the profile. So should I search for circle? All right, curve circle. All right, so let's reduce the radius, like so. Brilliant! I think that's all we need. We have uh, control over the resolution here, and control over the count here to access all these uh, values. The modifier here, we can plug this here, and now we have access to the radius. That's very good. And now let's plug this to the count as well, and to the um, solution. And yeah, now we have control over all these values. Brilliant. One more thing is, if I go to uh, render mode, and let's add a quick material, change the color. As you can see, the material does not change in the 3D viewport. So to fix that, let's search for a node called set material. And this will fix the uh, issue. And to see it in the, uh, where the modifier is, let's connect this to material. Now we can select uh, whichever material we wish to use. All right, so I want to scale this down until it fits this. All right, as you can see, it scales to the uh, to the cursor. So let's go back to median point. All right. All right, that's enough. And let's move it up like so. In my case, it's uh, gonna work better if I keep it under these faces, under the surface. But uh, you can put it here in the middle instead. 
depends. In my case, it worked better like this. We want to want this mesh grill to follow the surface. To do so, like so. To do this, make sure it's set to one, and add a new modifier called uh, surface default modifier. And let's pick this surface, this uh, circle shape surface, and now we can bind. Perfect. Now, if you select this and change the value here, you can see the mesh grill is following it perfectly. Let's hide it real quick. Brilliant. However, a few issues we do have is that here the thickness changes in this area, and it's uh, a bit thicker here on this side. And that's not how it works in uh, the real world. And another thing is that we don't have, it. we can't change these values. If we change them, things might break, I thought. Yeah, uh, nothing happens, apparently. So, to avoid this, let's uh, set this back, unhide this. And now, let's unbind and move it up before the geometry node modifier. And let's bind it here. This way, actually, this up. Now, now we have more control, and the thickness of this uh, tube is uh, thickness of the mesh grill is the same uh, all over the place in every area. Looks beautiful. So let's unhide this uh, surface here. Select it again. We have this, we uh, need to delete that. To delete it, let's go back to value one. Let's apply, actually first, let's unbind this. Let's apply these by pressing Control A. Now we apply the array modifier. The next step is to simply delete. Let's go to uh, X-ray mode. Let's delete all these unnecessary vertices. And uh, how can we delete that? I'm just going to press C. And this is, in my opinion, these. So press Enter to confirm the selection. Delete and delete. <laughs> delete the vertices, of course. Perfect, perfect. Go back to object mode. And let's bind uh, this again. Select this uh, surface and change the value. Let's hide the surface real quick. Perfect. You can also uh, hide the, the surface from uh, rendering. All right, that's it from me. Um, that's all I wanted to share. I hope you learned something new. And I see you in the next one.